doing another tutorial. Today I've done two tutorials. I'm trying to make up for lost time. These are some pre-recorded videos. And this is a requested tutorial by one of my subscribers uh, and I love her very much. Her name is Wishlist. Um, her channel is right here. Check her out. She has asked me how I use the black ground paint pot from MAC and I'm showing it to you in this tutorial. Uh, this is how black ground looks like. Very nice black ground color but it does have a few shimmers or sparkles in it. There's a blue, I think it's multicolored blue, silver and then another type of um, color which I can't identify at the moment but it has a lot of shimmers in it however when you apply it on your lids it's not as black um, it's a little bit lighter um, it's kind of like a grayish kind of color um, not the tar black kind of color if you want to smoke out your um, eyeshadow and that's what I did um, I've used only two eyeshadows in this tutorial if you would like to see how I did this look please stay tuned if you have any questions on the products that I've shown in this video leave it in the comment section below if you have any looks that you would like me to do um, let me know um, I would love to to get some ideas because right now I'm running out of it <laughs> but um, let me know bye as always uh, the first step would be to apply my eye base or an eye primer to my upper and lower lids the one that I'm using is from stage Next, I'll be using the Max Black Ground Paint Pot and you can get this from the Max store. It's part of the permanent collection. I'll be using this um, with a synthetic brush and applying it just on the upper lips and not going past the crease. I want the majority of that color right on the upper lips only because I want to make a gradation of the color later. Tu es toujours à mes distances entre la question et puis la réponse. Tu dis parfois tellement d'incohérence. Now, if you don't have black ground paint pot, you can always use any gel eyeliner. For example, this one from Essence in Midnight in Paris. Now I'm using Urban Decay's Roach eyeshadow in order to apply on my upper lids. I'm going to do a very heavy application of this Roach eyeshadow mainly on top of that paint pot that I've applied earlier. Do not blend this just yet. I'm just focusing on this heavy application on that paint pot so don't be afraid um, we will blend that eyeshadow later with that same brush whatever's left on it I'm going to blend that color up into the crease make sure that there are no harsh lines this would give a very nice gradation look here, I'm just showing you how the color looks like with and without a paint pot. Make sure to blend the edges of that um, upper lids very well, just so there's no harsh lines. Now, I'm going to use the same eyeshadow but with a smaller brush and applying this color on my lower lids. Next, I'm going to line my waterline by dipping this eyeliner into it and using it like a brush. Then using the same eyeliner which is Zero from Urban Decay, I'm going to line my upper lash line. 
I'm not doing any wing, I'm just following the curve of my eyes. For a brow bone highlighter, I'm using Brulee from MAC using a Bobbi Brown smudge brush if I'm not mistaken. To intensify the eyeliner on my upper lash line, I'm going in with that gel eyeliner and this small itty bitty um, eyeliner brush and applying it according to the curve of my eyes. After that, I'm just reapplying the roach eyeshadow on my lower lash line. To balance the eye look, I'm applying this eyeliner in zero again um, at about a quarter of the outer corners just to define my eyes taking that same roach eyeshadow and I'm applying this on top of that eyeliner that I've applied just now I don't want to see that harsh black eyeliner that's why I've masked it with that roach eyeshadow next comes my foundation routine which you all know I'm using the lasting finish foundation from Rimmel I'm applying a majority of this foundation on my problematic areas first and then later on to my uh, forehead and also my cheeks to hide those dark circles I'm using benefits erase paste applying it using an eyeshadow brush Never use too much of this product because it's really concentrated. A little bit goes a very long way. You can always blend it out using your fingers if you want. If you have some redness around your nose, apply it there too. Next, I'm just blending the erased paste using the foundation brush because it has a little bit of that foundation left. Um, it will blend out that erased paste very well. For this look, I'm using a light pink color. I think this color is called Juice from Inovi applying it with a blush brush from e.l.f. Just apply it on your cheeks as normal. You know where to apply your blush. Now to achieve that glow from within look, take a translucent powder and apply it on top of your cheeks, on the blusher and your whole face basically. Next, I'll be applying my mascara, but before I do that, I'm going to curl my eyelashes using my Shu Yumura Eyelash Curler. For mascara, I'm using the Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara and applying it on my upper and lower lashes. I'm going for a vibrant uh, fuchsia lip so I'm mixing two colors together the first one is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Berry Rich and the other one is Max Chignan 
these two lipsticks are really pretty you don't need to use the same products as I do you can always mix whatever that you have on hand for lip gloss I'm using Rimmel stay glossy in timeless alert this would just enhance that um, lip color that we've mixed just now this is one of my favorite looks it's very easy you're only using two eyeshadow plus a black base and I love this lipstick combo very much that's all for my tutorial today I hope that you've enjoyed watching this take care and I'll see you guys very soon bye